shit ain't been the same, so I walk around let my pistol hang. Squad, bitch, pistol gang on the count of three, screen pistol gang in that little beat, we pistol gang. Squad. Okay, man, we got the battle of the two ugliest rappers in the motherfucking game, y'all. Today, we got EBK Juvie Jew out of Chicago, um, coming from 150 Dream Team with G Herbo and them. And he's pressing EBK Juvie Jew, same name, um, but out of Stockton, repping that EBK group, you know, affiliated with Trey B and Young Jack and them. Yeah, so he jumped in, bro, DMs. I'm basically saying, my nigga, shit, you using the name, uh, claiming the fame, <laughs> go ahead and pay penance to the game, my nigga, oh God. And obviously there's a way you can step to somebody about something like this without making them feel extorted. Um, what comes to mind is the whole Rick Ross situation. You got Free Ray Rick Ross, the real Rick Ross, made a name for himself in the streets, has weight to his name, get out of jail. It's some fat nigga from fucking Miami <laughs> calling himself his fucking name, that's wild. It's crazy. But what does he do? He hits him up on a respectful uh, note and they make it seem like they're gonna get together and pay homage and just show respect, homie. You know what I'm saying? That's all. But Rick Ross doesn't follow through with that and they end up having problems. We're not gonna get into that, but that's just an example of how it could go without making a nigga feel extorted or feeling less than. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, catch more honey. Now, basically, I don't know what that saying is, but y'all know what I mean. Um, it's, I think it's interesting because you see all around the country, like in New York right now, you got like D Dot Osama and um, you know just like Lil Zay Osama, you know a lot of them niggas, um, Sosa Geek, you know what I'm saying, just like Chief Key Sosa, you know what I'm saying, like they just kind of use those names and take those names and utilize them as they own um, surnames, and that's kind of how you see the influence of Chicago and Chief Keith his whole wave it birthed a whole generation y'all you know his from his swag to the way he talked to the beats he was using to the style of rapping to the lean and and the blunts and, and backwoods all of that i feel like he kind of influenced all of that and now you kind of see the wave of that because you got kids in in stockton his name was probably close to julian or something like that juvie ju boom there you go it's that simple Boom. I don't think nobody should press nobody over no fucking names because it's obvious you wasn't the first one with the name, my nigga, because who thought of it? You know what I'm saying? But I also believe in live and let live, bro. Let little bro get some money. That's how you get more return back to you. That's how you you receive more. You know, you um, reciprocate that energy because um, the way the world going, it's more and more about relationships. It's more about diplomacy than it is hand-to-hand -hand combat. You got to realize that. You got to be able to work your mind. You can't just... Press the niggas for everything you want. You know what I'm saying? You can't go in the bank and press a nigga with that trash ass credit score. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go about things the right way. And so, Juvie Ju, little Juvie Ju out of Stockton, he got a little emotion right now. He, man, the older Juvie could have probably linked up with him. They could have made a little video or something. Juvie to Juvie, Chicago to Stockton. That could have been a whole little connection. Damn. Damn. But you see how niggas do. Niggas rather be the bully. Niggas rather play Debo. Like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit you did over there. You did that in your city. You did that to them people. You didn't do that to them. You didn't do that over here. What the fuck? These are all different types of blocks, eh, nigga? So, yeah, that's just my take on it. Y'all holler at me in the comment section. Let me know how you feel. Quick little video for y'all, Kim Folk. I got a big um, West Coast hip hop documentary I'm working on. I'm taking my time on it, making sure I get all my facts straight. Calling all the professors up, you know what I'm saying? Checking the law book, you know what I'm saying? Getting it together. But when that drops, I know y'all gonna fuck with that heavy. We almost to 700 subs, y'all. That's the goal. 700 subs. Let's get to it, y'all. Hey, y'all fuck with me, though. All right, it's the mob. Y'all know what I mean? We back up in this thing.